Welcome to Dimu's Tutorials. In this video we will see interview questions on plastic part design. Question. Define plastics. Answer. Plastic is a strong and chemical joint of small molecules. Question. How will you categorize plastics? Answer. There are two categories of plastic. Thermoplastic. Example nylon, polypropylene, polycarbonate. And thermoset plastic. Example. Acrylic resins. Bacalite. And DAP. Question. What are the advantages of replacing metallic parts with plastics? Answer, weight reduction. Can be molded in colors. Dent resistance. Heat resistant. And eliminates processes like cutting, bending and welding powder coating, when used instead of sheet metals. Question, explain with example, what are the factors to be considered while doing selection of plastic? Answer. A part which has to work as a lock after twisting, shall be molded from polycarbonate, as it has ability to withstand the pressure without breaking. Whereas if nylon with glass filled used, since it is a hard, it may break. Over moldings or molded shieldings are molded from PVC. The reason is that it has to go through many cycles of bending and twisting while normal usage. For example over mold at pin of mobile charger. A gear or body of electrical connector needs to be scratch resistant and hard. That is why in that nylon is used. Question: What are the inputs factors in design of plastic parts? Answer: What the part is going to do. Is it going to function as a load bearing element, static or dynamic element, or it is just an appearance part? What are the environmental condition there? Will it work near to heat or water? Will it be used as toy or will it has to preserve food inside? Are there any cost constraints? Because size and finish of plastic is directly dependent on molding process. For mass production injection molding machine will require if finish and dimensional accuracy is crucial. Otherwise components can be molded on vertical semi-automatic hydraulic molding machines also. Question, tell about design considerations and features of plastic parts. Answer, wall thickness shall be maintained uniform. Radius and fillets shall be given on sharp corners of component. Drafts and parting lines shall be decided accurately while designing of mold tool with care of functionality. Ribs, bosses, and gussets shall be given to avoid bending or warpage of component while cooling in mold tool. Question, tell about probable molding defects to be considered while designing plastic parts. Answer, warp, failure to maintain flatness of a plastic part which was intended to be flat. The part has a distortion from the intended shape. Sinks, depressions or dimples on the part which are adjacent to thick areas. Parting line mismatch, axial shift in the tool plates. Excessive gate trim either too much or too little plastic where the gate has been trimmed off. Ejector pin marks, ejector pin length error. Flash, excess plastic squeezing out perpendicular to the part at parting line. Question, what is weld line and meld line? Answer, weld line, also called a weld mark or a knit line, is formed when separate melt fronts traveling in opposite directions meet. And melt line occurs if two emerging melt fronts flow parallel to each other, and create a bond between them. Thanks for watching. Log on to dies.biz. For more engineering tutorials.